Okay, we're going to pick up a couple things from week three because it just fit just a little bit better here. Um, this is going to be the week four material, but we're going to start out with a couple of holdovers from week three. First of all, right here, greater momentum, just a big fat pad that kind of protects the visceral organs from the inside of the abdominal wall. Now here we have the liver. Liver is separated into two lobes, a right and a left. In the center of the liver, we have what's called the falciform ligament. Then the falciform ligament comes down and ends up making what's called the round ligament. And then at the very end of the round ligament, which you'll see on the models, there's what's called the obliterated umbilical vein. And that's how you exchange nutrients back and forth through the umbilicus with your mother in utero. So let's go ahead and get these structures out of here. Okay. Now right here, we have the spleen, spleen filters, blood vessels. This uh, patient had, uh, if I remember correctly, had leukemia. So his spleen is rather large. His normal spleen doesn't really project out much below the rib cage. Then right here, we have the liver. And I'm going to remove the spleen and remove the liver. And we can see the stomach. Now hanging down from the back of the stomach right here, we have another holdover from last week called the lesser omentum. Okay, stomach has a greater curvature, a lesser curvature, and then the stomach is joined up here at the very top by the esophagus, which we saw in the week one material. Then right over here, underneath the liver, we have the gallbladder. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the liver and the spleen, and we're going to put them in a phantom so that you can see everything underneath them. So let's back up. Hang on one second. Let's undo that. And there you can see how the stomach and the gallbladder are under the liver.